and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reading some uh, one star reviews to books I loved. So today I will practically be roasting some people over here. So if you're into that, just stay here, you'll enjoy it I guess. So um, Okay, so book series that one of the book series I love, um, which I searched on Goodreads for some bad reviews and I found many. Yeah, so that can be nice. Okay, first book is The Kiss of Deception by Mary Pierce. Um, I haven't read all of the reviews, so some of these will be my authentic reactions. Some of them I searched myself, some other my sister, so yeah, I don't know what will what will happen, so Okay. Uh let's see. Okay, so one star. Awful. I never give one star reviews. Never. This was awful, like so bad. Story holes big enough that my dog could catch them. Worst and most cliche love triangle ever written. A reveal so bad that I thought it was a typo. Did I mention the holes? Oh my gosh, way waste of my life. If you're reading this review to know if the book is worth finishing, trust me, it's not. Trust me, it is! I cannot fathom how this has 4.4 stars. I'm not sure I can trust some of the reviews any longer. If you want a good fantasy series, do yourself a favor and read Six of Crows or Throne of Glass instead. Okay, lady. He's a mister. So, okay, mister. Hear me out on this. Kiss of Deception, like, is one of the best fantasy trilogies I've ever read. Like, how can you say it's it's a typo of the book? Like, how can you even say that? I don't understand. Like, seriously? I, I can't believe it. Next review for the same book. One star. I got a quarter way through, but I couldn't read. Any further, might be a novel for younger teenage girls. Duh, that's why we call them young adults. If you don't like them, then uh, A, or you're not a young adult, or B, you just don't like a genre. Like, why should you read something you know you don't like? I don't know. The next one, one star again, like they're all one star, so there's no point in telling. Possibly one of the worst books I've read in years. I, I can't believe it, like seriously. Save your money, find an actual fantasy book and not a book about the stupidest characters in a love triangle without a dash of fantasy. Oh my god! Oh my god, like seriously guys? Seriously, don't don't listen to this crap, like Kiss of Deception is such a good book. Like seriously. Okay, next one. I don't know if I'll if I'll manage to finish this stupid video, like seriously, I'll kill everyone. Okay, one star and it writes uh the star meh. This was plain and boring. Like this person doesn't even try to explain. Like, oh my god. Ah, oh, exhausting. Okay. Next book is a very well known book. It's not that I like I'm fond of it, but it's not exactly for the plot, it's just I'm so fond of it because of the atmosphere. Like it has such a good atmosphere and I was I wasn't so shocked about this one actually, it has so many bad reviews. <laughs> because there are many people who like don't like this book, like at all. Um but nevertheless there were many there was like so much hate on this book. And so the book I'm talking about is Twilight. First review, always one star. So, recommends it for idiots, people who enjoy by dialogue. Like, okay, don't, like, don't start telling this because, like, it's like you're almost telling to people who read Twilight like you're an idiot because you read this book. It's, it's not good. It's not something to say. I don't know. So, save your time. Here's the entirety of Twilight in 20 dialogue snippets and a wiggity walk intermission. So, I've only seen one snippet, first 200 pages, I like you Edward, you shouldn't, I'm dangerous, I like you Edward, but I'm dangerous. Okay, first of all, okay, if you don't like it, then it's your opinion. I like it, it's my opinion. But I'm not saying, like, that the person who reads it is an idiot. It's not something to say. Like, it's something bad to say. Anyway, <laughs> next one. So, I read Twilight 10 years after I first read it, and I guess you could say I didn't love it as much as I did back then. Okay, acceptable, acceptable, it happens. So, oh my god, where did I go? Where did I go? Okay. Next one, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Um, I only found one bad review, like, there were others, but some of them were so long, like, people are just trying to pour all of their hate in these reviews. Like, oh my god, there were some, like, there were whole essays. So this one uh, from City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, which I love, like, I love those books, I love the Shadowhunter reward, I... Oh. oh my god... Oh my god... That was so scary. 
and just some things that help. Like that's normal. Okay, so always is one um, star. The references to the infernal device were golden, but that's it. I hope Lady Midnight is somehow different from this constant teen drama peppered with plain humor and waffling. The humor in these books is like precious. It's it's the most amazing humor I've read like in books. So don't 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 talk about that humor like this. You can't trash talk the humor of Cassandra Clay in the books because like it's amazing. So you don't do that to me. Okay. Next one and last one. Oh! Next one and last one. Deirdre by Lauren Kate. Um, this is actually the duology I was reading lately, and I actually like. It was really nice, and it was very original. The book was very original, and I, I things like that didn't make a lot of sense. But that's why it's called fantasy. So okay, first review. Oh, this is a long one, and I haven't read this as well. So okay, every character is the most dull piece of da 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 that I've ever had to read, and it was honestly a struggle to get through this. The plot was pathetic. The world building was pathetic. Everything about this pile of crap is pathetic. The writing style was 200% not for me, and honestly, I'd sooner shoot myself than read this again. Does that sound horrible? Yeah, probably. No, that sounds horrible, don't worry. But honestly, I don't care because this is the worst book I've ever had to read, and it deserves a really bad review. I wouldn't recommend this book to my worst enemy, and I hate it every single time I see it in a bookstore. Okay, that's far-fetched, people. <laughs> this cover is beautiful but misleading for the pile of da-da-da that is inside. Uh, okay. okay. Some people are just bad. <laughs> no, I'm not trying. I don't want to criticize. Look, this video is for fun. Like, I don't want to criticize anyone from this. I'm just doing it for fun. But I'm just saying that this is my opinion, and I just think that this book deserves some more love. Just that's all. Next one, always for teardrop. One star. I give up. Did not finish. I haven't thrown a book across the room in a long time. Oh my god! Like, these people really hate these books. I I I only throw books across the room when they're school books. Like, honestly, I don't know. Last one. So, the Fallen series was a ridiculous one. Okay. I still enjoyed each and every one of those stupid books, but this, referring to Teardrop, so dumb. I couldn't find myself liking Eureka, the uh, protagonist, and even with all that she had gone through, I had a hard time feeling any sympathy for her because of how annoying she'd be. The romance was even worse. The two potential interests are written out so ridiculously that I cringed whenever they interacted with Eureka. Like, seriously. It wasn't cringy, like, I didn't find it cringy at all, it was... I wouldn't throw it across the room, I wouldn't burn it, I wouldn't... Like, I don't know, like, I'm the extreme, I don't know. So, yeah, oh my god, I feel so bad about these books, like, they deserve some love. So much, does it really, is it really necessary to be that bad? Like, oh my god. Okay, so, that's all, I hope you enjoyed me roasting people because they reviewed, like, so badly the books I love. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.